In BitStudio, we can use this avatar control to set the subject for our photo. You can see here I have some varied subjects and then a picture of myself here. If I open up the avatar control section here, my first option would be to just enter some text here so I can describe any model I want. That's how I ended up getting shots like these, just with text, no images required. Now here you can see the avatars that I've already created, and that lets me use the same person again and again as the subject for a photo with the exact likeness. And it's really easy to do this. You just have to upload a picture of your face. Let's do one for me again. Now we can give a name. Let's do Owen 2. I'm 27. I'll take the athletic build. These attributes can be modified at any time. These are like the, the kind of canonical descriptions for your avatar. Let's create this. Now with that, we get a basic avatar. Uh, with a single photo, you can do as many of these as you like for free, um, but the likeness will not be as high or consistent as it would be once you upgrade. So if you open the edit section for an avatar, you can modify these attributes and you can upload more photos and upgrade your avatar. More like this one. Something to note too, you can see that I can edit these canonical attributes of the avatar here, which means they'll apply to every photo. But if I've selected an avatar, this text box, which I previously could use to describe a model from scratch, can be used to override attributes for a single image. So I could say uh, blonde hair here, or I could change my eye color or other attributes about my avatar right here uh, on the fly. You can also pose lock an avatar. So by selecting an option here, you don't need to do any additional text or description. You can get this pose in your picture. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side to see how a basic avatar compares to like a fully upgraded one with multiple reference photos. So I've just added an outfit description and a set that matches what I did for this one. Let's see how it turns out. So we can see that basic avatar shot. It has some resemblance to me. But compared to the upgraded one with multiple reference photos, this one hasn't really learned anything about my complexion or my hair. And so it's kind of taking some guesses based off of a single photo and that text description that it has. So if you really want consistent high quality likeness, you should upgrade your avatars. But if you're looking for basic resemblance, the basic ones are a good way to get started. Thanks for watching and hopefully you have a better idea of where to get started here in BitStudio. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be going over the outfit section and how that works and how to get the best results. So check that out if you want to learn more.